I'm so grateful that there was no social media when I was in school. I, Facebook came out when I was in college. I didn't sign up for it, and I never did, and then kind of missed. I didn't missed. either. We're the yeah. only two. Hey, hey now, Sam. Um, you won't yeah. find me on there. <laughs> yeah, you won't find me no. there. And you know, and I, I, and then because I missed that train, I didn't get on any of them. I'm not on Instagram or any of it. And, so I feel, and not because I think I'm better than it. I think it would. I think I'm the worst. I think it would absolutely it would bring out the you. worst, the worst in me. And life's too short. It's just too short. And I, I feel for kids now, and I really feel for actors coming up. And this, I think there's this myth with what's going on right now that to be a successful actor, you've got to participate in all that. And I just think it's bullshit. I think. My job is to make you feel that Sally Reed is a real person. And if you're reading that I had avocado toast for breakfast at the same time, I mean, it just, it's ketchup on steak. I mean, I just, I don't, I, you're ruining it. The mystery and the, I, I, I want, I, I, I don't necessarily want my life to be in public in that way. And right. so the vanity aspect is tough. It's really tough. Uh, I mean, I, I had terrible acne and was overweight in theater school, so I like you did. I came into it kind of going not really thinking of myself in those terms, and and which was really helpful, humbling time. Anyway, it cleared up, and I, I I entered this business kind of. I read this quote that Julianne Moore had that really has stuck with me, where she was like, "You're never you're never pretty enough." in this business, you're never thin enough, you're never, she's like, it's not your job, it's not your job to worry about that, it's somebody else's job to worry about what you look like, it's not yours. It, it's a challenge because there's an expectation and there's a huge expectation on women and this is my first real round of red carpets and the landmines of that and the inequality of that and the hours that we have to spend in the makeup chair and the boys get to rock up, hung over and slick their hair back, so that's all a challenge and I, I I just do my best to avoid it and not feed those demons because we've all got them. I mean, I can analyze a photo and be cruel to myself or I could just not open the photo. The one thing I really try to hold on to in this job is not comparing yourself and it is the quickest route to unhappiness. It is just so fast. And I remember leaving drama school and there was this like race going on. And it's like, guys, like this isn't a race. It's like, you wanna do this for your life? It's a long game. Somebody's always gonna be doing better. Somebody's always gonna be prettier. Somebody's always gonna be working more. I mean, it's just such a waste of energy. And it really, really gets in the way. The one thing I'm proud of myself for on it is that I, I, I think I've kept quite focused. I don't, I don't think that that noise I've had my days. I've had my days of Googling myself and being mean. But I think generally I, I, I really keep focused on this and what it is coming back to the thing of why we wanted to do this. Why do we want to tell stories? Why do you and I want to sit in a room and talk for an hour? We, you know, it's connection. And I, I, I think that I, I have a naive passion in that regard. Like that, that childish curiosity is not... I, it's it's still alive in me, and so I try to feed that when and make sure it's winning the the yeah. argument. Whenever I've had a moment in this job where I get a bit where I catch myself um, saying something that feels not not like me, I do try to like tell the seventeen year old, "Do you know you're on an HBO show with Henry Winkler?" <laughs> and or tell the thirteen year old, "Do you know that you?" You played this part on, you know, in Clybourne Park on Broadway. I mean, to to not ever lose um, that and like hold the hand of that child literally and say like, you know, you did this, you you got you and you and to find that joy with it because uh, I I wouldn't have believed it if you told me then in a way I don't I don't right. think and and I do, you don't want to lose that celebration that that would be in the eyes of that kid if you could tell them. Hey folks, thanks for watching. If you like what you just saw, then why not subscribe? Click right here for lots more off camera. And if you wanna see the hour long version of these conversations, I'm gonna give you the secret link. Here it is, offcamera.com. Check it out.